Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today's sketchbook doodles video is gonna be kind of like two different sessions. Um, as stated in the like stated in the title, I am going to have the first one as a warm up. Now I'm gonna explain why I'm treating this one as a warm up, even though compared to the next session, it might not seem that way. So. I did film the first session, which is going to be a kind of like a quick painting of June from Seventeen. Just like, I think it's, I just really like the one photo that he posted and he's wearing like the little cute little glasses and then he's wearing like a yellow sweater and it's kind of more of a moodier um, image because it's so like dark but it's like nicely lit and stuff. Um, but I wanted more practice working with gouache again because I haven't been doing any painting with gouache therefore i'm probably super rusty so i decided that i wanted to revisit it so i wanted to do something more that i was used to which is obviously a headshot or like you know more focused on the face and i really wanted to just play with colors with the hair um like i said i usually like painting darker hair with like a bunch of different colors and stuff and you can kind of get away with um just putting a bunch of different colors into the hair and it still reads quite dark and like either black or brown. Um, but then the second session is going to be, I don't know how to explain this. So I was gonna do both sessions together and I was actually gonna draw outfits that I tend to wear like personally because I think in the Sato video I was talking about like the colors and stuff that I usually wear tend to be like navy blue, burgundy, gray, white, and black. And I don't know, I thought it'd be fun to record my outfits that I like to wear, but I didn't get to film that because I had a bit of an interruption. So I decided to film the next day and do something a little bit different, which I'll explain when we get to that part. But the second session might not seem like I was warmed up properly and maybe it's because I took the break in between. I don't know. I, I definitely needed this practice. I definitely feel like I've forgotten how to use gouache in a way that I enjoy. Though I think the session was very fun to do. I kind of had more fun with the watercolor if anything rather than the gouache until we get to the hair portion because that's when I start to have a lot more fun being able to just basically like shove in a bunch of different colors into the hair and see if it works. Um, and then for the shadow of where it's close to June's face which is on like the, the yellow sweater, I think it looks really cool. Just transitioning the colors a little bit and kind of leading it, leaving it a little bit more like muted colors on the bright yellow. Um, but yeah, I, I was gonna try to tape off a little bit more of this painting. So the way how I have it taped off at the bottom doesn't really match. And it, if anything, I kind of wish I didn't do that. But I was gonna frame it nicely. But I ended up drawing June a lot bigger than I thought. So yeah, framing it was gonna be a little bit weird. I decided to throw in a bit of color into the background and I am gonna solidly, like basically solidly fill this in with one color just so we can make um, everything else stand out. But now you can see that I was already having fun basically putting in the different colors for his hair. This footage is gonna fly by quite fast as the other session, I wanted to spend a little bit more time but this painting, I think, took me, I think, under two hours. But yeah, I definitely felt super rusty. <laughs> That's for sure. I might have to find another brush to use. I'm not sure if it's because I've been taking care of this brush poorly the last few times. But I don't know. It just doesn't keep its point as good. It's also maybe me lacking the patience to get the right consistency for the paint again because like for the most part when you're using gouache there's like different types of paint you can use right you can use like really thin gouache and kind of have it really watery really see-through not opaque and then you can get more of that heavy cream consistency where you can get stuff like more opaque you can blend and get that just that nice quality about gouache or you can use it super thick and get it more textured which is another way but i was having a hard time getting it into that nice um heavy creamish texture i guess or a consistency so yeah ripped off the tape weirdly cut off and just added in the date for that day 
and then moving on to the second session so the second session i like i said i was gonna do sketches of my own outfits i might do this for maybe a separate video or something we can do it digitally maybe maybe easier but i decided that i wanted to sketch coco me it's been a while and even though I wanted to spend time and just do graphite sketching, I didn't want to do two graphite sketching videos, three graphite sketching videos in a row. Um, so I decided that we'll kind of switch it up. I will sketch a little bit for the most part for the outfits and I'll switch into the watercolor. And then the last one I'm going to do in gouache. So yeah, I just had a lot of fun. I just found some cute outfits on Pinterest or if I have saved any... Um, pictures on my phone. I just dug them out and I decided to throw Kokomi into those outfits. They're just really simple, really cute. I did two more like girly, more feminine, more like skirts and dresses. And then the last one's more, um, I wanted to paint like a jacket, which I thought would be super cute. So basically for these sketches, I did all of them in pencil. The last one's going to be done like super lightly, but the, hmm. The first one, the one that you're currently watching me sketch out, was done in the way that I usually like to sketch. I like to sketch a little bit more messy, a little bit more um, lightly, and then when I'm getting the details to be more like solidified, I am pressing a little bit harder so that in the end I can shade. But because I decided kind of like, not last minute, but a little bit later that I was going to paint these, I decided not to take it third, like further and then not shade it. So. We're just gonna go ahead and move on and I'm actually, I think I'm on the last two pages just before the halfway mark for the sketchbook. The sketchbook has, or not sketchbook, this notebook actually has a lot of pages. So yeah, even though sometimes I actually feel super productive working on my sketchbook, I feel like I haven't really dented the sketchbook that much, but hopefully I can get pump more sketches out, I guess, per day. Or at least like have a longer session of sketching than it doesn't feel like I'm sketching like once every three days, once every two days. Maybe I can do like three to four spreads in one day and then, you know, do one sketch another day. Kind of like fluctuate different amounts of sketches rather than making it feel like an obligation. Um, but yeah, the second outfit, I had a picture of just a girl with a, I think she had a black cardigan that was kind of like closer up to her neck. I decided to open it up a bit more and then add a shirt underneath. And then she has like a long skirt, which kind of has like a gingham pattern, which I don't think, no, I tried to imitate it. And then I'm going to do a different pattern with um, a different material on top a little bit later. The third sketch, I went back and decided to do something a little bit lighter. If you watched how I was sketching with the second sketch, I was pressing a lot harder for some reason. I don't know if it's because I was just getting tired, but this one I went back to sketching lightly and then I'm gonna go back in and just darken up a few lines, but I knew I wanted to paint this one with gouache, so I didn't want to put too many dark lines um, too quickly. Otherwise, it's gonna be hard for me to cover up every kind of little line and stuff. So yeah, I just really wanted to draw kind of a more puffier, bigger jacket on her. And then she has more of a cropped shirt, not a cropped shirt, a sleeveless shirt underneath, which is going to be like completely black. I decided to give her, oh, I just noticed that. I'm going to explain that a little bit later after we get through that, I guess. Um, I was adjusting the camera a little bit. And for the washes, I wanted to keep these ones simple. So I didn't paint in the skin tone. I just added indication for blush and like lips and a little bit for the nose. And then I decided to do just like simple washes for the clothing, try to see what works and what doesn't work. I tried to make her have kind of like tights and trying to get that color to pop through. It's like as if the, you can like the upper part of your thigh because it's stretching the tights a little bit more. It's a little bit more see-through. And then when it gets to the lower part of your legs, when it gets thinner, usually um, they get darker. And then for the second outfit, instead of a black cardigan, I changed it to navy blue just to fit Coco Me's kind of like blue, pink, and purple aesthetic. Um, but yeah, I thought the navy blue look would look really cute. But then I realized that in the reference that I was using, they had a nice, almost like military or like sap green color for the skirt. But I knew I didn't want that for her skirt. So I decided to go something a little bit more neutral, a little bit more tan looking. So that's what I did. 
And then for this one, I am spending a little bit more time painting. I think the middle one's my favorite at this point, but later on when I start to actually paint and render out the last Coco Me with gouache, I think, I think that one's my favorite in the end. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, on her head, she has like a little beanie, but I did put like a little shell on her beanie and I actually like accidentally painted over it and actually forgot until now. So I don't know if I'm going to throw that back in. I probably won't, um, but I wish I would have included it. I think it would have been really cute. It's basically one of the shell, like I keep slurring my words. It's the shell that's like on her, I feel like it's on the edges of her shoulder where the kimono-esque like shirt part of her outfit kind of thing has those little shells right above like the frilly parts or the little ruffles and I wanted to include that but I definitely forgot but I think it would have been really cute if I kept it in just to keep the beanie from being too much of one solid color but yeah oh I didn't notice I already switched to gouache so I'm using the Himi jelly gouache I believe the basically those cup of gouaches that you have in like a set i had to reactivate them for the june piece because my white basically got super dry you just basically add a bit of water take some time if you were like a toothpick or some kind of mixing tool i have like these old clay tools that i like to use and i decided to use those to just kind of like smash up the paint back into the water and let it revitalize and then stir it around until it gets back into the more of a jelly consistency I feel like I haven't used gouache in like a few months, therefore a lot of the gouache actually did end up drying out quite a bit. I've gone through and not used my gouache set like a month before and it was completely fine, but I'm pretty sure it's because I didn't seal it properly. When I was looking at the edges, when I first picked up the palette in a few months, I could see that there was like a bit of an open gap. So I was kind of expecting some paints to be a little bit more dry, but luckily it was only the white. Um, and it might've been because I used that one the most. So there was much more air trapped between the jelly cup and the bottom of the paint. So yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this one. I want to do more painting in the future. Like I said, I would like to focus more on watercoloring though but i do like doing gouache i really like the look of these kind of more bold not blended colors and i think i had a lot of fun doing this way so i started off with a lighter purple and then went into a mid-tone purple and then went in with a darker blue to do most of the line work and it makes it kind of have this i don't know how to explain it i think it's because it's not blended it looks really cool like it kind of just pops out and i feel like it's a lot of I don't know, it's the aesthetic that I like when people use like Posca markers and stuff. I think it looks really cool. Um, I decided to give her gray pants and a black top just because the black can match with her mask and I didn't want the her bottoms basically to clash too much with the outfit if I made it completely black because in the original outfit, the person had a black beanie, a black mask, I think a gray shirt, a green jacket, and then black pants. And the pants were a lot more like bellowier and like a little bit thicker, kind of like um, sweatpants or something. But I decided to switch it up. I kind of completely forgot about her eyes. And I actually didn't think about her pants situation until a lot later, which is why I didn't put like the bellowy pants like in the reference. But I found that this would still look cute. Um, my main focus was the jacket and I think I accomplished what I wanted to do. Like I said, I didn't add that much detail to the legs or the pants. But... Yeah, last thing I wanted to do. So I didn't really like how the pencil was looking with the watercolor washes. So I decided to go in with this um, needlepoint pen and do a quick outline of everything. Adding a little bit more value, making the lines pop out a little bit more. As well as adding a little bit more patterning to her long skirt. I think it just looks a little bit cuter. I was going to leave it at this pattern, but I decided to go a little bit further, make it darker so it could stand out. And it kind of has more like a plaid-ish feel, not quite, but yeah. I initially had like the little grid lines on there so I could paint in the detail, but I decided not to. And I was going to basically leave this one pencil and then have the second one inked and then last one gouache. Kind of like a, in succession of putting more detail, but I think I like this one a lot more if I added 
ink and I think I'm right. I definitely do like it more with ink and except for I don't like how I did the skirt but yeah enough with my rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and hopefully I'll be sketching a lot more in my sketchbook again and I'll talk to you guys next time with another video. Bye!